Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to eat the durian and do a taste test and tell you what it tastes like to me. Now, the durian, also known as the king of fruits in Southeast Asia, as well as the smelliest fruit in the world. It is, <laughs> it is, yeah, it gets that name because it is a stinky, stinky fruit. It is so stinky that in some parts of Southeast Asia, this fruit is banned in like hotels and public transportation. That's how bad it smells. But it, uh, to some people, it is one of their favorite fruits. It is that tasty. And it is native to parts of Borneo and Sumatra but it is grown all over Southeast Asia in countries like Malaysia, Vietnam, Thailand, Indonesia, Australia. It also grow, you can grow it in Hawaii. Also, you can grow it in Florida. But most of the time here in the United States, you will find these in like the Asian supermarket. And the whole ones like this, will be frozen most of the time. They'll, they will freeze them whole and they'll put them out on the floor of the market and then they will freeze them that night. So sometimes the fruit could have been fru frozen and thawed several times. So unfortunately, this is not a super fresh one. Like if you buy these in one of those South Asian, South Asian countries or Southeast Asian countries, like I mentioned, you will be able to find them much fresher and they will taste better. But for us here in the United States, this is how we can experience them. Before I dive into it and show you how to eat it and uh, taste it, here are some health benefits. It is among one of the healthiest fruits that you can eat. It is so loaded with nutrients and they just one cup of the pulp or the flesh provides around 350 calories, 13 grams of fat, 66 grams of carbs, nine grams of fiber, four grams of protein, and then it's really high in vitamin C. So one, one cup or one serving is about 80% of your vitamin C needs for the day. It is high in uh, manganese, potassium, riboflavin, copper, and a few other essential nutrients. Some people really love these and some people really hate them. So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fun diving into this. So this particular one that I have um, is the durian monthong, which is a very well sought after sweet variety. There are a lot of varieties of durian. There's not just one variety, there's several. Some of them, the inside is gonna be like a yellowish flesh. Some will be a white flesh and then a varying colors between those. And they can be green and brown when they're ripe. Um, totally depends. But the majority of the durian are gonna be similar to this, where it's gonna have different pods, and that's where the arils or the, um, the fruit or the pulp is gonna be. And then the seeds aren't edible raw, but you can cook the seeds, similar to jackfruit seeds, where you can roast them or boil them and eat them. And this particular one came from Vietnam. And a lot of times they will come in some like a little mesh thing like this, because it makes it easy to carry, because these spikes are sharp. <laughs> they are very sharp. So I'm gonna take it out of this. I'm just gonna cut this. Like so. So a lot of times, the way that you can tell when it's ripe, if it's just sitting at the market, um, is it'll start to crack on the bottom. So this is already starting to crack there, which is a good sign. But if you are buying these like in the United States in an Asian market, most likely they keep freezing it so it doesn't get to that cracked phase. Um, and then you can let it ripen a little bit on the counter, but you don't wanna let this sit out on your counter for very long. And that's why they are frozen each night at those supermarkets. And so if you look at this, there's gonna be different compartments and there's different little lines that you can see that go along this way. There's a line and then there's a line right here. And those are the lines right here. 
these are the lines that kind of follow the shape of the, the, the pods within this. And you can have several different pods, five to seven, something like that. This one looks like it has five pods. All right, well, how do you eat it? I mean, how do you get into the fruit that's in there? Well, a lot of times people will wear like gloves, like these gardening gloves that I have that are leather. And like you can touch this, the spikes and totally be fine. Um, other people will just grab the little crack with their bare hands and they'll dig into there and they will just pull this sucker apart. And uh, my hands are pretty wimpy, <laughs> so I'm not gonna do it that way. So you'll get like a knife like this and then you'll find that little line there that's already kind of started for you. And you'll just kind of cut into it along that line and don't go, you don't want to go too far in. And then I'll go to this side and see that line. So I got a nice line going down on each side and now what you can do, let me get this glove off, is now you can dig in here with your hands a little bit and it'll start to come apart. See that? Yeah. <laughs> so it's probably because this was not completely fresh and it was frozen. I don't know how many times it was frozen, several times, but maybe I have a cold or something, but this particular one does not smell bad at all to me. And I am guessing it's because it's not completely fresh and because it's been frozen so many times. <laughs> But it is kind of surreal looking. When you open this thing up, it looks like lungs to me. Like if you look at this part right here, it kind of looks like lungs. Like that's one lung and that's another lung. And it's like super soft and creamy and kind of gross feeling. <laughs> uh... But yeah, to me, all right, there's a little bit of stink, a little bit of a stink. This part right here smells bad, but it's not, to me, right now, this particular one is not unpleasant at all. It's not like a lot of the videos that you watch people doing this and it's just, they are like totally hit with a nasty smell. But they do stink. So this is just because this was frozen. I just wanna reiterate, if you get a fresh one out there in the wild or you, you know, you're selling, selling it on the market and it hasn't been frozen a bunch of times, it's gonna stink, okay? But this particular one does not stink very bad at all to me. Um, and also what it looks like is it kind of reminds me of like an alien, like this part right here is the head and the body and the tail with a little mouth right here. It, it, it reminds me also of like um, a grub uh, you know, the little grub, G, not the grub, you know, food grub, the, the, the grub in the ground. Like, <laughs> it kind of makes, it looks like a grub. And so I'm just gonna grab the little piece right here. So what you do is there's a seed in there and you just eat the flesh that is around it. Some people wore, will, will wear latex gloves because it's pretty sticky and messy, but most people will just pick it up and just eat it. So you just have this part right here and this is what you eat. And then you can keep the seed and you can try to grow the seed or you can cook the seed. So here we go, just take a bite. Wow, that is, it's such a unique flavor. It's definitely tastes like a custard, like a egg custard. A little bit of a flan, like a flan texture to it. It's sweet, not super sweet, like a fatty taste to it. 
Like if you took like some fat from like a steak and kind of blended that with flan, I mean, it's extremely creamy. It's just kind of a weird sweet taste. I mean, I could see how incredibly off-putting this would be for people. And I could see how you may not want to eat it just fresh and raw like this, but how you might blend it up, put it in a smoothie with other things. It's just an incredibly weird tasting fruit. But just look at that just totally pulpy, creamy. <laughs> Some people would call it nasty. I think if you really love flan, if you really like flan a lot, you'll love this. It's hard to describe exactly how it tastes. So there you go. That is the durian. I can see why people like it, and I can see why people hate it. All in all, it's pretty easy to, um, to open it up, way easier than a jackfruit. The taste is totally different than a jackfruit. It does not taste like a jackfruit at all. Also, I wanna point out, to get to the other cavities, there's more cavities in here, like on the back of this. You'll just do a little slit, and see here's another cavity of that fruit. And then there'll be another one on the back of this one as well that I can get into, it looks like. So here we go, I have the durian completely broken down into five different cavity compartments that I, I took apart. And then that left me with this plate of the durian fruit with the seeds. I wanna mention also here in the United States, most likely they're gonna be really expensive. This durian was a small one and it cost me about $17. I bought this at my local Asian market, the Mekong uh, supermarket in Mesa. And it was uh, you know, fairly expensive. So just keep that in mind if you're here in the United States and you wanna try one. Um, if you love tasting and experiencing fruits from around the world, then definitely give it a try. Just because it has that name of the king of fruits and also the smelliest fruit in the world. But here we go, this is the durian. Hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully you learned something new. And again, the taste is really hard to describe, but to me it tastes like a mixture, uh, it has like the texture of a very creamy, texture of like a mix between scrambled eggs and flan is like the texture, and the taste is kind of similar to flan, sweet. Just kind of a weird taste, but uh, there it is. That is the durian. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to eat some more of this. Oh yeah. <laughs> So you can see closer up just the creaminess